And John Shuchuk joins us now, Chair of the Waterloo Region Crime Prevention Council and Chief Managing Officer of the Waterloo Catholic District School Board. John, as always, pleasure having you on. Thanks so much, Haley. Always a pleasure to be here. Well, love speaking to you. Um, we, You and I have talked about bullying a lot, among other issues. What do you think when you see a piece like that, when we hear this young girl, Christine, bullied, turned a negative into a positive? That's just, it's such an uplifting way to start off this conversation. And I can't say enough about what she did because we spend a lot of time dwelling on what's wrong with the world when really we need to start spending a lot more time on what's right with the world. And, and things like uh, what young Christine have done there are things that are right with the world and we can really build on, on that kind of an attitude. So and we're making great strides all across the region right now trying to build on the positives. Okay, that's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the strides. Let's talk about the message getting through to the people it needs to get through to. Well, one of the key messages that's getting through right now, and Melanie hit the nail on the head when she was speaking to you over the telephone, uh, we're focusing on this as primarily a youth issue. Uh, bullying and, and really it's a societal issue it cuts right across all demographic groups it cuts across all age groups um, I work for a school board I can guarantee you that in the dozen years that I've worked there the worst bullies that I've run across have actually been adults and not and not young children um, so we need to get our heads around the fact that it's not just primarily a youth problem it's a societal problem but we need to focus on the youth because that's where we'll break the cycle. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what do we do, though, if it is a societal issue? We see it in the workplace. We see it with adults. There's so many initiatives that are targeted towards youth, which is great, right, yes. because that is breaking the cycle. How can we get, though, adults and the leaders, right, to, to start responding a little bit differently? Well, I think you get to the adults uh, through their children. I mean, it's, it's been a tried and true method. Uh, people, uh, viewers would be familiar with the 4-H program in the province of Ontario and, and North America. That was originally designed to have young children take back farming techniques to dad and say, Dad, oh, this, this is a good way to do it. I know. I was one of the 4-H members. I can recite them for you if you like. There you go. Exactly. And uh, so that principle still applies to this. If we can teach children the proper ways to conduct themselves at a young age, then they can correct their parents when they see their parents behaving in bullying ways or disrespectful ways and all that. So when I talk about breaking the cycle, nobody's born a bully. Um, it's, yeah. so, it's something you learn. It's something you acquire, whether you learn it from a parent, an older sibling, a friend. Um, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If we can get people focusing on breaking that cycle at the earliest possible ages, then that's where this thing will, will eventually end. Let's talk about the role of educators, yourself, teachers at the Catholic Board. What? How can you lead by example and, and notice when things aren't quite what they seem to be and, and, and present that image of, you know, bullying is not cool? Well, exactly. And schools are the perfect environment to, to start uh, keying on that message. And we've done uh, some things in the region, things that we're very excited about. We have uh, the THINK program, which okay. we've talked about here on this, on this show before, uh, which originated with just a simple set of words, the word THINK, uh, people asking, is it true, is it hurtful, is it illegal, is it necessary, is it kind, to ask yourself those questions before you get on Twitter, before you send that nasty text message to Haley, because she's really been bugging me today and I'm going to let her have it. Yeah. We've all done it. Um, so at St. Mary's High School, they came up with this idea, think, they've got posters, they've got bookmarks, it's being rolled out in partnership with the Crime Prevention Council, the Waterloo Regional Police Service, and the simplest little thing, a little blue band. Yeah, if you can hold that up for us to on see. Your, on yeah. your cell phone, uh, with the word think on it. I have it on mine, and really the purpose of it is every time you're thinking, I'm going to put out that nasty tweet, I'm going to post something on Facebook, I'm going to be really mean to somebody, you pull it out and you say, there's that blue band, darn it, you know. Yeah, let me go through the checklist. Not going to do that right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah, and it's been hugely successful, It's been hugely it? successful at St. Mary's. It plays off of a program they already had running called Kindness Matters, where they're trying to change the attitude of the school. What really makes it work, though, is it's been adopted by the students themselves, yeah. so it's a peer-to-peer -peer thing, and that's really key when you're talking about young people. They don't want to hear old guys like me telling them, you need to think before you tweet, yeah. uh, but they will listen to somebody who's their own age saying, you know what, that was really stupid. Why did you even do that? Maybe yeah. you want to think about it next time, think about what you've done, um, those types of things. So it's, uh, it's ground level, it's grassroots, and it's really caught on. We've gotten requests from all over North America about this. People have read about it in the media, heard about it on radio, television. They say, how do we do this? And it's a simple matter of some really inexpensive elastic bands. The joke was that we couldn't go into Sobeys or Zares anymore because 
uh, all the elastic blue elastics were disappearing off of the bro <laughs> off, off the broccoli. Out. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, good. It's just another way how Waterloo Region is really leading, you know, in Ontario and Canada when it comes to these type of initiatives. Uh, John, you're going to stay with us in studio for one more segment. We Absolutely. do need to take a quick break. You can always get involved in our conversation. Is bullying awareness leading to effective action? I think so far we've discussed that it is. Uh, we're on Twitter at TalkLocalWR. You can email the show, TalkLocal at Rogers.com. We'll be back right after this.